I'm using natural lighting and I don't trust nature. I'm telling you 10 facts about me that's related to like bands and stuff. Number one, the only, like the first band that I can remember liking is All Time Low. So, and I still love them to death. Number two, Stay Champs is probably one of my all time favorite bands. Like I could listen to them on repeat for days and like never get bored. Number three, I am currently learning Tracks by Rome on the guitar. It is probably one of my favorite songs. Matt East, all of you who know, I love him. He does an amazing, amazing cover of Tracks. So I'm basically like learning from him because he plays it really like clearly and really well. So I learn it. And I'm actually kind of decent. Number four. I know almost every single word to every Neck Deep song they've made and released. Like all of them. I know majority of the words in all of them. I love Neck Deep so much. The reason I am such a punk, post-hardcore junkie is because my dad, when I was like a little girl, he would play like My Kim or Blink in the car and I would just take it all in and then one day I decided to listen to good music. This is just the genre I chose, and I've been sucked in ever since. So, Dad, shout out to you for liking my chemical romance. And I can, fun fact, this is a fact video, um, I can remember seeing the album cover to one of their albums. I'll show you the album cover in a second. But I can remember thinking it was like super scary, like I was terrified of the album cover, and I don't even really know why. The album cover isn't scary, but as a little kid, I would have the album cover with the album in the car, and the album cover always freaked me out. I thought it was the scariest thing, but now I'll show you the album cover. Number seven. It's really embarrassing, but I'm not ashamed whatsoever. Remembering Sunday by All Time Low is like my sad song. It always makes me cry. Like I could be feeling on top of the world. I could be having the best day of my life. But remembering Sunday comes on and I'm going to cry. And I don't know why. Number eight. Fly with the Sky by Pierce the Bell is probably one of my all-time favorite albums ever. Like out of all the albums I listen to, out of all the bands I listen to. Collide with the Sky by Pierce the Veil is like in the top five. I can listen to it on repeat forever, and I do. If I listen to one song by that on that album, I listen to them all for days, and then I have to take a break. Within a few days later, I come back and I'm obsessed again. So like, I love Collide with the Sky. Number nine, Sleeping in Sirens was the first post-hardcore band that I ever listened to, and I think. The first song I ever heard was Roger Rabbit, and the first full album that I ever heard was Phil, maybe? Maybe, I don't know, I think, that's, I think that's right. But Roger Rabbit was definitely the first song I ever heard. Number 10. If I listen to Crown the Empire late at night, I always fall asleep because Andy Leo's voice is the most soothing and relaxing thing. Like, he has such a beautiful voice. Like. I love to listen to him sing, and I just fall asleep, like, even if I'm listening to, like, not a calm song, even if they're, like, screaming their heads off, I'm just like, good night, I'm dead, because his voice is so good, but Dave, his voice is, like, really, really good, and he's underappreciated, and he left the band, and I want to rant about that, but that's for a later video for a later video so that's it that's really all I have if you want to follow me on any of my social medias all the links are in the down bar below and yeah I'll be all
so much. Peace out. Stay rad. I love you. Goodbye.